This was Mount Unzen on June 3rd, 1991, erupting into a killer avalanche and clouds of hot ash. The volcano is quieter now, but active still, dangerous. Some cleanup has begun, but most of the $630 million damage awaits a full-scale operation. That can't begin till Mount Unzen settles down. We have no uh, clear evidence of the dec declining of the activities. The daily rate of the lava extrusion is uh, about 300,000 cubic meters every day. The lava buildup, or dome, on Mount Unzen has grown dramatically in size. Japanese scientists warn it is unstable and could collapse. That likely would send another major pyroclastic flow into the villages, possibly three and a half miles to the sea. For nine months, those who fled have waited for the lifting of evacuation orders. More than 7,000 are still in public shelters. They'll be in them a while longer. Scientists worry the summer rainy season could trigger floods and mud flows as well as bring pressure on the lava dome. Sometimes uh, very heavy rains will produce their uh, pyroclast flows due to the collapse of the dome. Mount Unzen is doing its own to ease pressure from within, blowing off gas, sulfur dioxide vented at the rate of 200 tons daily, lessening the likelihood of an explosion. But the unexpected can always happen. This devastation is a constant reminder of that. The people who once lived here want to come home, but no one wants to be in the way of another deadly volcanic flow. And so the waiting game drags on. Mount Unzen still full of life, the streets and houses and the path of danger still deserted. Taylor Henry, CNN, near Mount Unzen, Japan.